Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn Hard Mode Chaos Moon Random Survivors. Yes, that is a mouthful. I hope you're all well. And we're going to just put this on a one at the moment, nice and slow. So what we all we've done is the barrel plant has finished being observed. So we're going to plant some of that down and we set the silicon plant to be observed as well because we don't want to run into issues later. What we're going to need to do, I think, in terms of our research when we can, is try and clear off this metal. Because this is a really, really nice flat land to build on, I think. And, um, yeah, we're quite lucky all the way around. I was looking for the blade, the the, uh, the grain cob thing, the grain grass, whatever it's called, as well. But I don't know where you said you saw it, because I'm not seeing it. I've dragged over it. I am not seeing at all where it is, so... Uh, mistake. Oh, unless it's down here. Could be down here. Oh, I hope. If we can find that, I'll be so happy. No, not seeing it, so... That's the edge of the map, by the way. I can't go any further, actually. There you go, We've, we're at the edge of the map. So yeah, I can't do anything that side anyway. But um, I appreciate the love on episode one, man. I, I, it means so much to me. Thank you so much. It is um, incredible. Oh, we got three nests over here, too. Did I see that before? Or am I... I don't know. I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm doing. But I did play a couple of hours of this to make sure I wasn't completely useless in this series. Just on normal. Um, we did pick a Chaos Moon, but we did pick some actual survivors. But what we want to do is we actually need to find some kind of green then. And uh, another nest up here. It typically has been seen... On the mountain sides, where there's actually potential for grass here. It's not the end of the world if we can't find it. It's just a little bit longer to get fuel and things like that. So, if I can find it, that'd be wonderful. Alright, I've searched high and wide. There is no, no green grass, no green cobs, nothing. I'm not seeing anything, man. So, that is, yeah, not something that I can even see. So, if you were suggesting it before, I'd love to know where you meant. Because I've checked absolutely everywhere and it just isn't here we've got the tall grass there but yeah nothing else so anyway let's crack on let's um let's move on in so what we're gonna do is get down some of this so we want to get our barrel cactus down and i think we could potentially put that right here so 50 percent is gonna have to do at the moment I think. Uh, we just got 60 cloth though, which is nice. So what we're going to do is work up our food a little bit and then we'll get some crafting done ready um, once our research is working out as well. So what we can do is get... You also can scavenge metal refinement now, which is great. We could do pickles as well, which is good. But I want to get this down. So we just need this to finish. And we'll be building with stone. So what I'm going to do is get down another one of these. What we don't want on this is we don't want power weapons and crafting material either. And we will put down a couple more of these. So the idea will be another row of this. And we're going to farm up a bit of stone because we're going to be building with that. That's the plan. And you can get a fair bit by doing this and all we'll do is a small enough we'll let, we'll leave them in their beds for now here and we'll just do a small enough um house to accommodate them here i think and then we need to decide which way we're gonna get them to attack from i think this way just kind of makes sense we're gonna have all this to build with here once that's cleared out but yeah i'm gonna keep looking where i can for it but i feel like i've been over the whole map and i'm just not seeing it man it's just not here so it is what it is. Blade grass, that is. But, yeah, that's okay. Still get the scavenging on the metal as well. We'll get as much as that as we can as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually cancel... Is that the same piece? Oh, that's the same piece right there. How weird. Look at that. All right, I'll leave that on because that one's about to finish. We'll just let them eat and we'll go through that. But, yeah, I'm not too sure on that then. What have we got cooking up here? So, tea ball tea, not enough resources cooked emergency ration so we've got some of those we need juice leaf don't we so juice leaf we can get plenty of there's plenty of that knocking about so that's good and we have all of this dry season until it goes into this wet season until we have to worry about that so all we're going to try and do at the moment is get them leveled up we do have silicon there as well and what i'm going to do is i'm going to harvest one where i can 
Okay, so I'll cancel one just so we can unlock the research for it. And we'll make sure we're okay on our activities here because just Katina there. I could do with someone else starting to level it too. Just on harvest, not plant. So if we... Who do we want on there? I think Samantha. Oh, another survivor. Hold on, baby. Edmund. Welcome in, Edmund. Of course you're welcome to stay. All right, first things first. Let's get him a bed. Let's get him a bed. Let's get a tiny little shelter for him. Stick that there. Was that sticks we're waiting on? Yeah. Um, tell you what, Edmund. I'm going to cut that broadleaf bush, mate. Get him to cut both of them. I know I don't want to... Yeah, we'll get him to do those. You're going to make your own bed, okay? And your own home. Because that's how it should be. We'll just stick that to the side. Edmund's unarmed. I know. I'm not going to give him a gun either yet. We're keeping those spare. He doesn't need one. If we scavenge one, then I'll give him one. But those two snipers will keep us spare. Because it's a little bit easy. A little bit easy in my liking. But that's great. Fifth survivor. Perfect. Day seven walking then on this seed. For me, that is beautiful. We will take that. Hopefully we'll get another one. I still haven't got the achievement for eight, by the way, because I play the seed that I've got. I don't try and cheat it or anything. I just and I play the uh, yeah everything we have. So uh, we probably need to get a surplus of sticks, not loads, just a enough to get us through as well. And what I'm going to do is sort out his schedule then. So we want him on the sleep schedule, same as everyone else. We want him relaxing there and anything there. And then we'll get him on Edmund. He'll. So what? Is he's the story writer, I think, isn't he? Is he that guy? He's that guy, isn't he? We have a second secondary hunter then, which is good. He's indifferent on harvest, so I might get him on cutting and mining for now. Because he's extra, isn't he? He is extra. Uh cooking, plant, harvest, don't need to be high, crafting, tailor, assemble. So all round he's not that great. So he's kind of like, I don't know, he's okay. He's not awful, obviously, but we'll just get him doing the bits no one else wants to do, right? There's a little bit of wood there, too. That's a huge desert tree. Is that one that we can grow? We'll, we'll get that as well. So we've got our silicon now, which is good. So what I wanted was to be able to make sure we can research certain stuff. So we have the ability to make leather armor. So we need... I think you've got to do fine produce metal rods. We haven't scavenged any yet before we can start unlocking all of that as well. So that's fine. Well done, Simon. You crack on, mate. What's weird is he is choosing to observe. Oh, no, that's Simon. Simon and Edmund are different people. Edmund's cutting. Good. Good stuff, mate. Uh, one. Uh, and there we go. We got our juice fruit as well, so we should be good. And there's our metal refinement. So let's... Get this popping. This is why we need more resource. So we're going to have this close to these here. I'll put these on the back of the beds. Two of those, and we'll set those to 200 metal. Get this done, Simon. We can get some trees down, mate. This is obviously going to clear. And there's our oasis tree, so we will get some of those. Uh, zero growth. <laughs> Great. Such a problem, isn't it? The trees... We are a little bit short on building areas. We might have to just put in random spaces for trees where we can, if I'm honest, and just grab them as and when. Not going to need a massive amount of wood anyway, so I'm just going to put down, like, random squares, if that makes sense. Problem is, it makes you drag, and I don't want it on any of this red, if that makes sense. I know you're probably counterintuitive, and you're probably shouting at the screen, but there you go. Let's do that. It's extra trees. You get two or three planted over there. I think it's four per of those squares, so that will help a little bit. And we have another one there that can be cut. We'll get a tiny bit of wood on the go. We now have Edmund to do all that rubbish, haven't we? So it's great. Cooked emergency rations. I know. We do have this heat wave as well. And I don't know if any of you know, but have, have you had solar flares on the desert yet? If that's a thing, because I know they've changed the behaviour of the flyers, I believe, where nothing actually can kill them. Flamethrowers don't work on them anymore either. I think. <laughs> don't quote me on it. Right, veggie, we need to put that up to five now, don't we? And we don't have enough for the... We need more T-ball. That's the... T-ball is these weird trees, isn't it? We're going to set a couple of those to harvest as well. 
And we just scavenged another pistol, so I'm going to give him the pistol. I think that's fair. I don't want him having that railgun. Sorry, mate, I know you were mining. We're getting some stone up. What's going to be good is we have 415. We are going to be able to get a nice big... Or not big, but a nice house. Have we got someone who's construction too? Ah, Quinn's there. We're fine. And Samantha likes a bit of construction. Which actually is a good point. Samantha... I'm going to get her on construction too with... Yeah, she can do the house, I think. Because she's interested. That'll keep... And not that happiness is a problem right now. It seems to be okay. But yeah. Oh, what a great um, update, right? What are you thinking about the update at the moment? What are you loving? What is it that uh, is making you enjoy it? I, I'm loving the challenge, I think. And I love learning new things. So, as you probably guessed, people that play these types of games like to learn, right? So that and, uh, obviously, we all know full well that the next update is going to be some kind of winter biome, isn't it? It's going to be complete frozen wasteland. It's got to be. I think that's going to be cool, too. All right, they're just getting up. What I might do is get Edmund on um, scavenge as well. So cut, scavenge, and mine. So we can clear out these areas here. And we'll get the salvage thing. I know this is... You're probably shouting at me thinking, why the hell are you doing this so far? So we've got construction, flame turrets, long distance travel, which we can do. So we'll get long distance travel next because we do have a little bit of fuel. And then we will get... Because we have fuel fermentation down here. So we need to get some raw insect meat. And we'll start collecting that up once we've got that as well. It's only one day to research. We'll get electric grids. And we will start working on the pickling, I think. No, let's remove pickling. Let's go space deconstruction, then pickling. And I think food-wise, because we could just live off the veggie, 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 can't we? I'm not going to scavenge anymore. We've got room on there. We just need the crafting to happen. Antibiotics. So we've got antibiotics there. Who Who is our crafting of that? No one. So, Quinn... Let's get him on crafting. Get Simon going on that. Good stuff. That should help us with a little bit of... Uh... Yeah, we'll get some antibiotics ready. I'm not sure when we need them, if I'm honest. But it'll help him level crafting as well, which we'll need for clothing, won't we? So He's going to collect some. Have we not got a lot of that either? Which one is that? It's these, isn't it? Let's harvest... I think it's those. That'll do. That should be enough for our antibiotics because we don't really have any in stock. So he's crafting that now, which is great. And we'll try and get this scrap metal up to 1k so we haven't got to worry about it for metal, which obviously has been done. Uh, we will get rid of that and we will put this to until 200 on both of these, which is going to use a lot of scrap. So we'll keep them going on scavenging and we'll hopefully be able to clear all these out so the idea is going to be main house. We're going to attach to the farm area. So we'll put it like here. And then we can fit a farm in here as well. And obviously we need to just live with the fact that trees aren't great. Worst case is you get a little bit of wood from these. But we have got our first antibiotic. So that's good. And uh, not many tea balls. So I'm going to see if there's any more we can harvest which is great because you've got a little color indication on them right which is fantastic so that is good and construction basics are now done so let's start with what we want on our building then i'm just going to clear the little stars on these because it bugs me come on i can't be the only one that hates seeing the indications right and we just scavenged at another 128 so we've got 209 fuel so we're good for a few expeditions then so what we're going to be working on is stone so i think if we how do we want to play this? I kind of want... I don't know whether to separate out, like, living quarters, you know? I think if we're going to farm to there, we can start with a 14 by 8 with a... Uh, it's the ground. It's going to cost way more stone. Don't think that's too much of an issue, though. We have loads, so let's set some more to mine here. And Edmund is going to get to work. Because that is a lot of stone. A hell of a lot of stone. So we'll just let that run in the background. Whilst they carry on. I think all in all though, happiness and things, we're okay. So once the... Is it balloon next? Once the balloon's research, we can obviously ping Quinn out. Because because we're not too fast at the moment. On that much. It might be worth just getting... 
You know what, I'm going to change this around. Electric grids can kind of wait. Because we don't have anything we're going to be using. Another 13 med kits as well. I'll take these scavengers if they keep doing it. That's fantastic. But yeah, has anyone tried the insane chaos mode yet? I was looking in the Discord and um, yeah, people are saying it is horrendous. So I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> it's going to be funny. But yeah, if you haven't joined the Discord already, by the way, the Discord is in the description. So feel free to join. I would love to see your bases and what tips, anything like that as well, if you want to post them in there. I'm uh, all ears in there too. And uh, obviously we do have Twitter, which is also in the description. All right, Edmund's first up, handling that furnace like a boss. Love to see it. Just need a few more. This moon looks incredible, doesn't it? Um, I was reading about the... Is it the Jason moon as well? So that Jason moon looks like it could be pretty damn cool as well. It looks like the attacks aren't going to be as frequent, but they're going to be a lot bigger. So it's harder than the default. I think that's great. Patina with hypothermia again. Yeah, I think that's a really cool playthrough as well. And the, obviously, zero attack option is fantastic because... There's going to be some impressive builds. You could do the zero, you could do the peaceful mode on the old map and just build some insane bases. Samantha Construction 3 there. So our biggest issue, obviously we need people up to Construction 5 to, for carbon. And we keep scavenging fuel. And then we also need crafting. We've got crafting 3 on Quinn. Simon is interested, so it shouldn't take him long to do that anyway. So we'll just keep him on antibiotics and maybe some bandages. We've got scrap cloth. We haven't yet, which is weird. So, uh, we don't have enough resources to actually do the healing balm. So, we'll get some more on harvest there. Long distance travel. Beautiful. And you know we're putting that straight down. So, let's get that just to the side here. We'll keep it just out the way. Uh, let's put it next to the fuel. So, it takes them quicker to refuel. Katina Physical 2, though. Thank you very much. Let's keep on top of the stone. It's cool that they've done this, so you actually do need to build with stone. Cause, and the stone looks really cool on this, by the way. If you haven't seen it already. Severe heat wave. 14 degrees. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's get a tailor bench down. Could do with just putting this straight inside. I'm going to keep it here for now. We'll move it all over after. I'm going to get a tailor bench down, and we're going to start getting some caps. I think they're a good option. I'm not going to get the straw hat. And you really don't, you really don't need that hat on, mate. Nor do you. So let's get those off. What we'll do is take those off. We need a wardrobe, don't we? Um, storage. Let's get a, let's get a single wardrobe down for now. We're wasting our wood here. I think we'll just have crafting corner over there for now. It won't use the wardrobe too much, so we'll put it in there. Hopefully get enough for antibiotics there, and it does look like we are going to be able to send Quinn really shortly, so we are going to get straight on that. Um, what I'm going to do is, before I send him, I'm going to make sure we've got a backup on research, which we could use. He's doing all our labor, really. He's our crafting. Samantha... Let's get you on research. We can take you off harvest because Katina can do that, I think. And then let's get Quinn on an expedition. I think that's the only one we've got. And obviously, he'll be back really, really quick anyway on the first one. So we'll switch that around a little bit. I'll try my hardest not to micromanage. But until you have loads of survivors, you kind of have to, especially the early game. I think you'll all agree with me on that. We should be well into lots of new research here. Brick rooms, concrete rooms. So you can bake concrete just stone now for concrete rooms, by the way, in the furnace. So that is a good method. Um, let's just look at what we're going to need is some kind of defense. So let's get flamethrowers next. And then we can start putting down a small stone barricade around our settlement, I think. Not including these. So we could probably do that now. Let's just put down a stone fence. Because ideally we want it... Hmm. I'm going to wait. I think we'll be alright. We're going to get attacked again soon. I've been lucky so far. Because when you do chaos mode it can be every three days. But we've been lucky past three days. They're sleeping and Quinn's gone out. But he should be done very, very quickly. There we go. So, Old crash site. Control module debris. And there's electro perfect. We need electronics for the research anyway, so that's actually really, really good. It looks like we're going to have a site for electronics now. Very, very nice. We'll keep on top of that. We'll send them straight back out as well. We're going to burn through most of this fuel, but that's okay. 
think we can... We've already done... We need oil extraction, don't we? So this is a problem with this. We don't have any grain at all. We could go out and find grain, though, which is good. If that happens, that'll be great. He's just made a new short story, which is good. Mysterious Calling. Oh, yeah, we'll be doing a cool source. Can't remember what that one is, though. All right, let's go straight to... So we've got Control Module. Cool Source, which is huge. Intellect skill below five. So that's going to put him on ten intellect, isn't it? All right, what we're going to do then... Ten intellect, if I remember correctly. We're going to send him... Because he's going to come back on maximum, baby. Is that, I'm not sure how the intellect plays out for other things. Obviously, it doesn't research faster. It means you can research higher. We have 21 aggressive animals. Just pause it up a second. Oh, they're pretty close as well. And we do have a lot of big boys in there. So, yeah, the big, big boys. We have big boys. Explodey boys and big, big boys in there. So what we're going to do is we are probably... I could go double sniper, but then I'm thinking sniper pistol. So when they get close, the pistol can shoot them. And I can kite between the two. So maybe draft those two. Let's 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 go over. We'll let him go out as well. And we'll start pinging at these. So what we'll do is we'll set Quinn to snipe, which he should shoot. Are you going to shoot, mate? Thank you. And what we'll do is keep backing them up. I need to be careful of is what I should do actually is keep Katina there put Quinn on shooting I want you to shoot the big ones mate you've drawn them all in they should run away a little bit and then we should be alright you're getting attacked here Katina I'm going to kite it a little bit This I know they're going to get hurt a little bit but that's okay I think he says <laughs> should be fine yeah, I didn't think this through very well. It's okay, though. They've got rid of the big ones. Boom. Are you missing? Well done. There we go. I think we got most of the big ones, then. That's fine. That's all we need to do. We'll just have him there. Quinn can just snipe, can't he? So let's get him on these uh, anything that comes over, I guess. That's it. That one's going to bleed anyway. That's not what we want. Katina. <laughs> I've kind of made a bit of a mess of this. That's okay, though. I'm going to actually undraft her. Get Quinn to save her. So she can go get healed. Because that's an explode, isn't it? Oh my god. That is really frustrating. There we go. Undraft. She's bleeding, not life-threatening, so she took a bit of a beating. That one seems to be attacking the camel over there. Go on, Quinn. Alright. He can reach these, so that's good. I'll just finish these last ones off. Alright, looks like it's just the last two here that he's about to snipe, so you should be able to see those. We'll let him finish those off and then we'll undraft. I think she's being healed anyway. Samantha's a good healer, isn't she? So, And he's whiffed his shot. Bless him. Come on, Quinn. Good man. There we go. I'm not seeing it. It seems to have disappeared from the side, but I'll let him get healed up anyway. I think she's all right now. A couple of uh, superficial bites. We're scavenging so many anyway, so I don't think it's a problem. Insufficient fuel. Can we get on some of those bushes, please? Cut those bushes up. Edmund shouldn't be... Uh, a couple more hours, he should be good as well. Alright, Samantha healing three. Exactly what we want. A bit of that. And Simon's going in for the heal on Quinn as well. I think he's alright anyway. Yeah, I made a bit of a mess of that. I've, the, the distance, I shouldn't have double-clicked them both. I should have manually microed them, but that's okay. They're fine. And we just scavenged. I guess fuel is now more common from scavenge? Don't know if that's intended... Definitely feels like quite a lot, though. I'm just keeping an eye on the juice fruit for what we have here. Um, hopefully, Katina... just want their cooking to keep going up. Construction 5 for Samantha. This building is looking mighty fine. I'm not going to put bedrooms on this. I'm keeping them out here for now. All right, really. Um, temperature changes we can cope with, I think. 
and then we can queue up some hats. So we've got this new straw hat, which heat tolerance is six, but I want the baseball because it actually gives you cold tolerance increase and heat tolerance, which is kind of what we want. So I'm going to go for five. I'm going to go five times on the cap when he gets back, I think, and that should be fine. I'm just looking here, and we have stone issues, so we need someone mining. We're going to need way more. Let's get a massive stockpile of that, and then we'll get, if there's a little bit more wood... I think they've been planted, as you see, so you only get one tree per square, but that's fine. We're not going to need loads, we just need a little bit. And cool source completed. Oh, what is this? Okay, and a whoosh. Yeah, he's about to get our uh, 10 intellect, isn't it? Let's hope you won't regret this. Yeah, I think that's the one. Max out intellect, Sir Edmund is now intellect 10. Crazy. Uh, speed at which the survivor reaches new technologies. Rece oh, it does affect the speed and observes unknown species. I didn't know that. I always thought because it says one day, oh, one day max. Okay, so we'll do it quicker. So technically, then we can get Edmund on research now because he'll do it a lot quicker, right? But let's quickly just mix this up here. Edmund, you're now going to be. Soul Researcher. Quinn, I'm going to take you off that. Uh, you can be an Observer too. And I'm going to put you... Yeah, he'll choose to do that and then Secondary on that. Let's get Quinn leveling up a little bit of Physical. Because what will be good is we're sending him on Expeditions. Him doing these is going to be good, isn't it? Let's take him off Scavenge. Is there anyone else doing that? No, there isn't. Uh, we'll keep it. Let's just go with that for now. That should be all right. We probably need to up mining, actually, is what I'm thinking. Craft, tailor, observe, and handle. Katina is construct. No, Samantha is construct, so let's get her on two for mine as well. <clears throat> actually, that's not. Let's take her off mining. It'll be fine. She'll go and mine when she needs it for the building, won't she? So that's helping our nighttime. Eight degrees outdoors because of that heat wave, which is nice. Quinn straight onto his new work, which is nice. Uh, how are we doing food-wise? We've got our veggies, so we're good. Baseball cap. Simon crafting three. So, <clears throat> Simon, since you did such a great job, since you did a fantastic job, you've earned yourself a cap. <laughs> right, let's uh, get him to put that on before he eats. There we go. Oh, he chose to do that first. Why did? Why do they do that? They should go back to what they were doing before. You know? <clears throat> That's okay, though. I'll manually get him to do it, because he, he was saying he was hungry. I think Edmund's kind of bleeding out on the expedition over here, look. Yeah, all looking good here. Katina's on scavenge, which is beautiful. We'll get Quinn. Mm, we, ooh, 11 more meals. Okay. Still low on the sticks there, which is kind of weird. We do want a little bit of a surplus to make sure we don't run out for refueling everything, so... Especially now we've got the furnaces. Although we're at 200, so we're okay for our things here. I'm not sure whether lightning's an issue on this one when you get into the different seasons. So I'm going to put it on, because I know wet season, obviously, it could. So, But that is good to go straight away on a new one, actually. <laughs> you know what? It's, you just need to, don't you? I just want... Yeah, let's send them. I think we're not due an attack, are we? We do have the one other sniper, so we'll be fine. Katina's doing her mining. As I said, she'll do that when she needs it, won't she? So, which is great. Samantha. Good stuff. I think... Why are you choosing to do that, then? What have I got here? Research. Samantha. Oh, you are on a two there. That's okay, then. We'll get you leveled up. Spaceship deconstruction. Beautiful. Right, we can salvage. Exploration complete. Pasture frequented by herbivores. A good hunting ground. I mean, that could be worse. Good way of getting some meat. His combat skill's a bit too low, though. So we'll get rid of those two now, so we should have some build space. Same with that. And then we'll have a nice floor to play with, I think. He's on his way back, though. This is a beautiful, beautiful start, eh? All right, I'm just going to pause it up there, guys, because that is going to be where we end out this episode. So, as always, if you have enjoyed, please do smash that thumbs up for me. It massively helps with the algorithm. Ping us a little comment as well, what, you, what you're enjoying the most so far. And if you are new around here, please consider something to the channel. As always, I like to say at the end, if you are enjoying the content and want to support me further, there is a join option on the channel to become a member. As always, guys, take it easy, and I will catch you in the next episode.